So Charter River Labs are a contract research organisation who um, work within the life sciences industry. Um, they are uh, there to um, partner with um, customers and help them through the, the drug uh, discovery and development process. Uh, we're headquarters is based in uh, Massachusetts in the US. Um, we have presence across 16 uh, countries within, with 60 locations within, within those countries. In terms of uh, staff numbers, we're about uh, 7,000, 7, 7 staff worldwide. Charles River Labs have uh, been a VMware customer for some time now. We invested initially with them to um, do a large server consolidation exercise, uh, which has been successful for us. Um, we, we ran that largely out of our uh, Massachusetts data centre. But more recently, we've been working with VMware on their hybrid Cloud Activate program to look at running some of our services uh, from the cloud. Before we move to cloud, um, already highly virtualized, um, something about 60-70% I think of our, of our server environment is virtualized already. So I see the next logical step to uh, virtualization being to the cloud. So the VMware um, cloud or the vCloud solution w w was attractive to us in that um, it allowed us to leverage our existing investment in, in VMware on-premise. Um, one of the, the goals or objectives that I set for the team is I, I don't want to start again or, or, or to throw away any investment that we have given it was a fairly substantial investment. In, in the medium term there will still be a need for on-prem um, solutions but I want it to be one pane of glass or one environment that we manage whether it's on-prem or, or on, on cloud so uh, the VMware vCloud um, solutions fit that nicely. Um, the hybrid solution allows you to have that mix, um, allows you to transfer resource between the two environments where needed. The application itself was our help desk ticketing solution so a couple of reasons why we chose that application um, in that one, it was a, I said, a meaningful application. It's used by everybody in the company ultimately, so it is a production application. But on the flip side, it was one application that was entirely within the control of the IT department, so it was under control as to how we managed that transition, which made it easier for the project and for the pilot program. So we use the, the VMware solution um, to be able to manage the, the, the transition between on-premise and the on-cloud solution. So vCloud Director and the vCloud con Connector um, specifically have been used in this, this pilot program. We use those tools to, to transfer the existing application out to the, the cloud provider uh, and be able to manage it. So the end users have benefited in that they are unaware of the fact that we're running on the cloud or running on premise. I think it's transparent to them as to where their service is running from. Um, benefit to the end users in terms of uh, um, implementation as well is, is that it gives them further choice um, as to where applications can run from. I see cloud uh, being key to our overall strategy moving forward. Um, I think the days of us investing heavily um, a lot of capital into building hardware and infrastructure are, are probably past now. Um, with the options that are available now from, from cloud partners, they, they bring the agility, flexibility and, and, and in some case the cost savings as well for using that model. So absolutely I see it being key to our strategy. So we're already looking at you know, software as a service solutions from the cloud. Um, some platform as a service in our development team and then with, with VMware infrastructure as a service um, as well uh, moving forward. I would like to get to the situation where um, our default platform for server provisioning um, will be the cloud. So the next steps um, with our cloud uh, strategy, um, we've just really got the pile up and running now so we'll, in, in the short term will be to continue to measure and, and monitor the, the success of this, this pilot. Um, not just from a technology perspective to see how it performs, um, the application itself, but also will give us time to, to understand the operating model better. Uh, I see it being a key factor to, to our success of moving to the, to the cloud will be to under, under, make sure that the team understand the change in the operating model from managing hardware uh, to managing a vendor really. So there's a change in skills, a change in roles there that we have to make sure we manage as well and, and the team understand. Um, so we'll spend some time doing that. 
ultimately, I'd like to then uh, use the information from the pilot as, as part of a cloud strategy and, and put that into the cloud strategy so we have definite plans moving forward to expand our use of, of the cloud and how that will operate.